Rock and roll, this song got to number 10 in the US, number 41 in the UK in December 1967. Rock and roll. So there we go. I've taken the key down significantly. Uh, I think you ought to put it on the fifth, put the cap on the fifth fret, even the sixth fret, I think, to do this. So I've taken it down a lot. So you know. I'll put a cap on the second fret. I'm going G to C. And that run down C, B, A, G. G to C6, it is a C6. places out there that reckon that's a G instead of a B minor. So I'll play that was what, what, what you think. Whole world wrapped up in your darling might be and a whole world wrapped up in your darling but I think a B minor sounds better. Whole world wrapped up in your darling it seems to climb, you know, it climbs. the record you know and like you know listened and stopped and listened again and it was like you know it, it kind of it seems like it's been my, in my view if you disagree that's okay you know i might have got the chord wrong but say comment down there and then um, so everyone will be able to play it properly <laughs>
Got to number 10 in uh, December 1967 in the US. And I've uh, got the obviously I'm looking at this LP here. So I picked up for 80p on Sunday. Uh, there it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, Grace is dead. And it's, when was it printed? August 1970. You can tell what the month is. On the back of the Gallard and uh, Shite House uh, things, you can say it says 7008, which means that's August 1970 that this sleeve was printed. You can sort of tell by the little code on the bottom. A little interesting little bit of a snippet of information. There. Anyway, there's the LP and uh, and yeah, and it's track two on side two. That one, rock and roll. Here we go, boogie, rock and roll. <laughs> 